Hey, good morning. Welcome to Math Project 72. Cool. Here we go. You ready? Yep. You took 10 Mathlete tests and your average score was 38. Is, is, is that, 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 that doing the average thingy? Yeah, yeah. Today, today's problem is about average. Uh, if your lowest score was 20, what was the average of the remaining 9 test scores? Okay, so do you understand the problem? Yeah. Alright, tell me tell me about the problem a little bit. Well we, well, we took we took ten mathlete tests uh -huh. and we and our average score was thirty eight. Okay. And what else does the problem talk and, about? And it and it says that if our lowest score was twenty, what was the average of the remaining nine test scores? Okay. Alright, now do you remember what average means? That, that's going to be the whole point of the problem. Yes, I, I do. Okay. I, I, I don't really understand the remaining nine. What does that mean the, about the remaining nine? Okay. Well, let's talk about it. What does, what does average mean? Well, you have you have a bunch of numbers. Yep. You add them up and then divide by that number. By what number? Well, you, you, have, you have a bunch of numbers. You add them up and then divide up by the number of numbers. Divide by the number of numbers. Okay. So, in this problem, you took 10 tests, and the average score was 38. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Alright. So, what does that mean, that your average score was 38? It means you, you had so, some number of problems. Now, you took 10 tests. Yeah. So, what does, let's write down what does average mean. Average means... You, you, you're, you're add up. Add, add the numbers. Numbers. And then divide it by the number of numbers. And divide. Oops. Not running, running too quickly. By the number of numbers. Oops. I have to probably point the camera down a little bit to make sure it sees what I'm writing. Okay. So, so for example, what's the average of the four numbers? Seven. Sometimes I just write av. Of seven, eight, <coughs> twenty, and, well, I don't know, four? What is the average of 7, 8, 20, and 4? So we add them all up, 7 plus 8, which, that, that adds up to 39, but then you divide by 4. What is 39 divided by 4? No, I mean, sorry, let me make it 5, let me make it easier. And what does that add up to? That, that would add up to 40, and the average would be 10. Okay, the average would be 10. Okay, because 7 plus 8 is 15. Plus 20 is 35, plus 5 is 40, so the average of these numbers is 10. Okay? So, in, your, in the problem we're, we're looking at, yep. we had 10 tests and the average score was 38. Okay? So what does that mean your te all the test scores added up to? If test 1 plus test 2 plus test 3 plus, plus test 9 plus test 10, all of this divided by 10 equals 38. That's what the average is, right? You add up all the test scores, divide by 10. It would add up to 380. Okay, so what adds up to 380? Well, uh, the, the sum of test 1, test 2, test 3, test 4, dot, dot, dot. Okay, right, so test 1 plus test 2 plus test 3 plus test 9 plus test 10, those scores add up to 380. Okay, so that's what, that's what it says, when the problem says you took 10 mathlete tests and the average score was 38, that's what this means, that the test scores add up to what? 380. 380. Okay. So what was the next thing the problem said? 
Well, it says if your lowest score was 20, okay. what was the average of those remaining nine? Okay. So, it, it doesn't, we don't know which one was your lowest, but it just says one of the ones was 20, and it was the lowest score. So, do you want to just say that was test 10? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which what we what one we call it. Yeah. It just says the lowest score was 20. And that's going to tell us that test 1 plus test 2 plus test 3 plus test 9. And what's the score on test 10? 20. Plus 20. Equals 380. Equals 380. That means test 1 through test 2. 9 equals 360. That's exactly right. Test 1 plus test 2 plus test 3 plus all the way up to test 9 adds up to 360. And so the question, what's the question that it, it, this problem is asking you to solve? Well, what was the average of the remaining 9? Okay. So now, now we got to divide 360 by 9. So now we have to divide 360 by 9. Okay. Great. Well, that might be a bit tricky. It might be a bit tricky. But how, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do it? What do you think? There's a couple different ways we could do it. Do you have any ideas? Not really. Not really? I bet you can come up with something. Well, we could divide it by 10 first, and that would add up to 30, that would be 36 if we just, if, if we just did it 10. Okay, so if you divide by 10, is that number going to be smaller than the actual number we want dividing by 9, or, or bigger than the number we want dividing by 9? We're 360 divided by 9, but 360 divided by 10 is 36. Okay, so do you think 360 divided by 9 is going to be bigger than 36 or less than 36? It should, it should be, it should be bit bigger. It should be bigger because, let's look at a, a simple example. So could you run out and get me a, a tissue so I can wipe, wipe this off with a tissue because our, our erasers aren't working so well. Here, quick, 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 quick. But luckily the tissues work pretty well. So let's see, when you divide by a big number, let's look at, let's look at not the exact same example, but let's look at if we divide um, mm, 30 divided by 5 and 30 divided by 6. Well, what's 30 divided by 6? 5. 5. And 30 divided by 5 is 6. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. Oh, this is probably not in the case. Probably not in the camera. It's not in the camera. In the camera. Up. Okay. Thirty divided by five equals six, and thirty divided by six equals five. So when you divide by a big number, you get a small number, and when you divide by a smaller number, you get a bigger number. Cool. Okay. So. So awesome. So three hundred sixty. Let's go back to here. Three hundred sixty divided by nine. Oh, sorry. Divided by ten equals 36. So we know 360 divided by 9 is going to be bigger than 36. It could, it could be 1 bigger than 36. It could be 1 bigger than 36. Let me say 7. If I just asked you, asked you to do 360 divided by 9, what would you do? Hmm. How would you approach it? You, you could you could just take off the zero. Okay, you could you could take off the zero and it would be thirty six divided by nine. Okay. So what's thirty six divided by nine? Thirty six divided by nine is is four. So so you add you add the zero, it's forty. Okay, so three hundred and sixty divided by nine is forty. So that means that T one plus T two oops. I'm having a hard time writing today. T2 plus T3 plus up to T9 divided by a 9, the whole thing divided by a 9, 
is 40. Because 360 divided by 9 is 40. And so let's, let's talk just for a second about how we could have figured out that 360 divided by 9 was 40. One thing we could have done was just long division, right? Oh, yeah. So what's 9 into 36? 9 into 36 is 4. 4, so we go 36, 0, 0. What's 9 into 0? 0. 0, so we get 40. That'd be, that'd be one real quick way to, to do it. Well, don't forget about the homework problem. Okay. Alright, so do you think you understand this? Yep. Okay, great. Well, the homework problem is going to be... What are we on? I think we had 72. All right, so it's Olympiad 72, problem number three. Olympiad 72, problem number three. Olympiad 72, problem number three. That's the homework problem. Okay, thanks for watching.